A good friend of mine is learning photography at the moment and we got into a discussion about leading lines. She uses them instinctively in her photographs, but when I complimented her on the fact, she replied, I've no idea what a leading line is. I don't know what you're talking about. So this video is for you, Louisa, and also for everyone else who's interested in learning more about photographic composition. So composition is the way that we, as photographers, guide our viewer and determine how they see our images. At its most basic, it's what we include in the frame and what we crop out. Then we can use visual techniques such as leading lines, the placement of our subject, and the moment of capture to prompt the viewer towards a specific reaction or reading. We can even prompt them to ask a question, such as here, you know, we all want to know, will he or won't he catch that ball? So there are a number of famous rules or guidelines that can help us to develop our compositional skills, and one of these is leading lines. Leading lines are a method of moving the eye around the frame, and we can utilise them to lead the viewer's attention to our subjects, following a preconceived path. And this is because we read a photograph. Our eyes will look at things in a specific order. We're drawn to faces first, to words. We're drawn to light areas before dark areas, and our eyes will follow paths that are set out for us by the photographer. If there's a road or path running through our image, then our eye will follow to see where it goes. If the person we photographed is looking in a specific direction, then we look there too, we're curious, we want to know what they're looking at. And we as photographers, we can use these instinctive responses as we craft our images. So lines can be explicit, a path, a shape, a shadow, or implied with eye contact. They don't need to be straight, and I'll talk about the power of spirals in a future video. So look for them when you're out taking pictures. But then what? You've seen an opportunity. How do we make the most of these leading lines? I find that wide angle lenses work really well to emphasize leading lines, and I'll often use a 35 mm lens or a 24 mm lens for pictures that include them. Then get close. You know, often this means getting down low, particularly if you want to use a path or a bridge, which I do a lot because they're a common feature in parks and they always make a really lovely dynamic composition. If the lines are converging from different areas within your frame, then consider placing your subject on the point of convergence for maximum impact. Leading lines are everywhere once you start to look for them, and they're such a fun thing to include in our pictures. So keep an eye out and experiment with different angles and different focal lengths. Let me know how you get on, and obviously please get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.